you know, everyone has their different senses of humor. But mine, for some reason, seems to bounce and vary depending on the point in time in my own personal life. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Now this probably seems like an obscure topic, but quite frankly I'm surprised I haven't talked about this yet, and if I have, well, here we go again. Because it's just the thing that crossed my mind. So, what I'm referring to is just that I... Recently, I have I was kind of skimming through my channel to watch my older content, to watch my newer content, yada yada yada, just for the sake of, you know, why not? Bored, so I want to watch my own content because I make myself laugh sometimes. whoop de day All of it? No. But, depending on the one? Yeah, yeah, sure. However, I noticed that depending on the point in time a video franchise was created, varied the humor itself. In on that alone, my brain goes, huh, yeah, I'm not that person anymore. For the most part, the content that was put up back at the beginning of what I'm talking about is completely gone, completely removed. In fact, I'm looking, because I figured I was going to bring this up, I'm actually looking at like at, at, at my content and so the oldest video I've got was done all the way back well four years four and a half years prior to now if we're talking about videos in general but as far as outside as uh, the videos that I watch frequently goes because I like them the oldest would actually be done it was in it was actually three years ago um, just if we're just a few days off of that four days off of that I believe but yeah almost exactly four years ago I think I said three originally I meant four if I did but the ones that I like watching the most of the ones I watch the most often, oldest one I've got is January 31st, 2018. And I do watch through everything of mine because I do enjoy my responses. They're genuine. I have never, I, I it's rare when you see someone who gives a genuine response, but I don't like giving false responses. I would rather just give my first-hand reaction to what I, how I feel about stuff like this. And that's just how it is. But, either way, one thing I have noticed is that if what I'm claiming for this video is true, and it is, when I said... I believe it was January 2018, that date would not be the case if my humor in my mind hadn't gone all over the place given a certain point in time. Also, I apologize for my hair. I'm doing this video before showering, so it's kind of just all over the place, but I digress. My humor has bounced. And I do feel a little bit uncomfortable with some of my past videos. So instead of leaving them on and just going, eh, well, that was my humor in my past, I'm just going, you know what, I'm going to remove it and redo it at a point in the future. My game list that I had has actually gotten bigger because of this. And the later game for today... That I of the gaming videos that I always do on a daily basis, the new series that we're starting is a continuation of the series we ended last week. However, it is one of those that had been constantly requested, and one of the first ones I had on this channel before almost any but any of you 
were subbed to this channel. In fact, I only had like five subs when I did it. And I was like, you know what? No, never mind. I'm not ready for this. Unlike now, where I'm more than prepped. However, that strays from the question. What kind of humor do I personally have? And you know what? Let's add the detail of had. What humor did I have? Well, back when I started this channel, my humor was kind of that of a young adult. That of a late teen. That mash where, and not, this does not apply to everyone, and mind you, but it is most, from my own personal experience, this is most late teens and pre-matured adults. Sexual humor was a really big thing for me then. That's what see, she said jokes were part of it. Um... Swearing was much, 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 a much, 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 much bigger thing for me back then. I still do it every now and then now, but I try to balance it out to the point where it's not uncomfortable for me. Constant swearing has become very uncomfortable for me, which every, pretty, so every single video that I've done prior to what I have on here now, I can guarantee it was removed for the sake of, you know what, I don't feel comfortable with this series, I'm going to redo it. So pretty much just because it's removed doesn't mean it's going to be permanently gone. In fact, some of the playlists that I made for these said series are still on the channel, but you guys won't be able to find them unless I've already redone them. Which will happen at some point. I just don't know when. One way or the other, though. So, my humor then was sexual. It was that of a teenage boy. That of if something extremely naive were to happen, it would make me laugh. Now, most of that kind of stuff I would look at and go, ugh. Now every now and then it would make me laugh. Yes, but you have to have the right circumstances. For the most part, it does not make me laugh. But given the right circumstances and given the right people, it does. But what is my current humor now? Now that I've covered what it was, what is it now? How has it changed? Between now and then, one thing has stayed the same. I have dry humor. That part has never changed. Dry humor meaning whatever comes to the top of my head first, it comes out and because it's so random, it does make individuals laugh. And I have seen proof of this. Whether it's out of frustration, which I try to avoid on this channel, uh, or if it's out of just being stupidly derpy, that one happens more often than not. Or, you know, just the obscure characters that I have brought on this channel, like Bob, for example, or Thing, or any others that have appeared randomly and scatteredly throughout this channel throughout the history of this channel that I have not removed. Which I'm pretty sure most of the times when a voice is used, it is one of these characters. Unless I'm voice acting. For example, Mr. Trippy. Or the great Papyrus. I think Undertale's still on here. I don't know. Regardless, my kind of current humor, outside of the dry humor that has been consistent, is an emphasized version of that. Because for the most part now, because I've kind of matured over the past five-ish years, starting at the beginning of this, these past five years, as of this recording, me being still pretty dang immature, over the time range of the past five years, again, as of this recording, as of, for those who see this in the distant future, if you do, November 14th, 2021. That's when this is being recorded, at least. You guys won't see this until a week later, I believe. 
I believe this is supposed to upload on, or not one week, two weeks later. Because I'm pro trying to prep these way ahead of time just in case I need to take a hiatus for some reason. Yeah, you guys will not see this until November. This won't be uploaded publicly until November 27th, 2021. So let's go off of that date. As of this upload, public upload of November 27th, it has been just slightly over five years since the idea of this channel existed. However, the beginning of it, I had no idea what I was doing. But the humor stuck for a couple of years. After that, it got old. It got really old. Some of it stayed. Most of it didn't. Because I felt uncomfortable with the consistency of how old things were getting, especially since now I'm uploading on a consistent daily basis. Now, every now and then, you'll see a spark of what I was talking about earlier when I said the sexual humor that I used to have is still there, but it has to be at the right moment with the right circumstance, otherwise it doesn't work. For example, my video of a game called Penis Cloner, which was not as bad as you might think. Yes, jokingly in the video I actually did say, what are you doing here? Why did you click on this video? Because the idea of this, what it's doing itself is kind of bad, but the reality of it is, it is it literally just looks like four squares. Well, a rectangle and two squares. That's it. And you're basically trying to clone that. You're basically trying to clone a rectangle with feet. <laughs> but the jokes that were made by the creator, my responses were the main joke of that video, and the main joke was the fact that there were so many puns in my response the humorous part of that video, in my opinion, is what my real humor is. It's not sexual jokes. It's response. It's responsive humor, is what I like to call it. In fact, that's what we're going to call the kind of humor I have now. Responsive humor. After enough time to become more professional about it, without having to throw out tacky jokes, I feel like the kind of humor I present now just suits me a lot more. And as I said, what we're going to call this humor is responsive humor. A good example of that would be this. Instead of using a game, let's use reality. Amber and I hang out on a daily basis a lot. You know, since she and I are um, engaged and we are in the process of getting married soon. Um, we do hang out. We basically live together. We have dinner every day together when we can, unless she's working, which is understandable. In that case, I eat alone, but I do see her afterwards, and sometimes I still eat with her anyway. Like earlier tonight. Um, Aaron actually came over earlier as of this recording, and he actually brought wings, because he offered them to us, and we were like, sure. So, I guess that could count as kind of a hangout, but still dinner together kind of thing. Um, but at the same time, when it's just Amber and I, we watch TV, and we derp around, we joke. Yes, why, yeah, the, the, my original statement was an example for what I mean by this responsive humor. The responsive humor is that over-exaggerated you've got to be joking, and it's so over the top that it makes people laugh anyway, even if it is generally IRL not that funny. Bob is the perfect example of this. My, my character, Beer Belly Bob. Again, I have to at least give credit where it's due. Bob was created upon a video that unfortunately I had to remove off of this channel for Several reasons that don't need to be named or listed, but Bob was originally created while I was playing through one of my favorite franchises ever. Kingdom Hearts. And 
I was jokingly talking in his voice and pointing out different aspects of the area, just like calling out certain things. That, and it just kind of came, it just I kind of went with it. I'm very good at improv, and most of the time when I do improv, that's where the melodrama humor comes from. The kind of humor that I like to call responsive humor. Maybe improv humor matches the terminology better, but responsive humor is definitely my kind of humor, where I just go off the fly, and whatever the hell comes out of my mouth first is the humor that I give. Excuse my French for those who don't like hearing it, but... Uh, whatever comes out of my mouth, that's the kind of humor that ends up happening. And if it's given at the right time, with the right circumstances, it's the kind of humor you always find on here. In fact, one of the reasons why you don't see a lot of the older videos that don't match my current humor is because that was before the time where I started looking at the video, responding to the video. If it had this amount of laughs, I would keep it kind of thing. Back then, I would record, I would upload, I wouldn't give a crap on what was on it. If there was a lot of frustration, I'd try to cut out as much of that frustration as possible. If there was no frustration on there, then huzzah! No worries. And for the most part, that was the case. I was carefree, as I am now, except back then, I didn't have any standards. Not as much as I do now. So why did my humor change? Why did it move from sexual ridiculousness, what is he thinking, to what just came out of his mouth? Kind of humor. Why did it change? Well, in the time span that I have been living on my own, also, that moment, that's just me scratching my leg. For some reason, the side of my leg is itching like all heck. In the time span of when I've been living on my own, I've experienced quite a bit. Some of you have actually been on the channel long enough to see the worst of it. For those who have been, it's much appreciated. It really is. I think it's about 100 individuals. At the time when that happened, I had about 150 subs, more or less. Somewhere around there. And many of you have really stuck with me throughout it, and I really do. I really am grateful for it. And since then, we've grown a lot more than I expected to have happen. But even to all of you who stuck around, thank you. But I digress. I, I, I'm straying off the point. What happened within those years that changed my mindset? Morals. I do like to joke around. I do like to have to have fun. I do like to be optimistic and goofy all the time. But there is a large reason why I only play certain types of games, I only watch certain types of shows, and I only say certain words to a certain degree, and then others are just like, whatever, whenever. Morals. I know it took me 18 minutes to say that, basically, but... This is going to be a multi-part series, maybe. I don't know. But my jokes have altered because of my experiences. Back when I started this channel, I never considered what would be offensive and what would not. I never considered, well, would a large group of audience enjoy watching this other than me? I never considered what kind of topic of series should I be looking at. If you threw any of those questions at me, I'd be like, eh, it's just for entertainment purposes. Regardless of the fact that since the beginning I have called this channel nostalgic, the first, one of the first gaming series that I tried to do, but I ended up deleting very quickly, was The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That wasn't nostalgic in any kind of way. It was new at the time. Brand spanking new. 
it only got like five episodes in, and I was like, you know what? Nah. The first official series that I did upload isn't on there anymore, and not even that was like a lot of the things, I wasn't sure what my channel wanted to be. I wasn't sure where it was gonna go. All I knew is that I wanted to use an outlet and I wanted to use something that would make me laugh in case I needed it at that point in time. I can't go back and say that now, especially, <laughs> and that's thanks to all of you. And it's something I am very grateful for. I'm trying to be careful. I'm way more mature about my mindset. I want to treat this more as a professional thing. In fact, I'm having debates on whether to change the actual name of the channel or not. Not that it'll make much of a difference compared to what I actually say as an intro or anything, since outside of my manager, Amber, my manager and love, Amber, and one of my best friends and a brother of mine, Aaron. And again, I've mentioned this before, but same statement goes towards D9 or Danny Wilson. Those three individuals are the ones who really help the most at making this channel run. And it's, it's not something I really took into consideration this is like the ones who help like keep an eye over the channel the most granted Danny in a way he does he keeps an eye over the live streams I guess portion of it and that doesn't happen often but when it does you can bet your bottom dollar I need to bring him back for those I will say that but regardless outside of those aspects Aaron and Amber are definitely ones who help me out a lot Amber manages the channel with me as much as she can she has pushed me to do my best and I mean I I'm not going to lie I'm more organized right now than I've ever been with this content since and the humor that I have currently to be honest that is kind of thanks to her prior to her my humor was kind of jacked up and all over the place now, bef directly before her, it wasn't as bad as it was e quite a few years back as of this recording again, but it was much better. In any case, morals have changed my humor a lot. They've also made me way more mature. Now to get to that portion of the video, I'll try to make this like 8 minutes, or 7 minutes, just because I know we're at 23 minutes right now, but... How else has morals changed me? Well... My choices have become a lot more... Self-conscious, in a sense. In the past, I've made a lot, a lot, of naive choices. So what differs then from now? Hmm. Again, morals. But these morals... Well... Were built... Through individuals I trusted. That's kind of why up until maybe... Eh, mid-2019? Mid-2020? Somewhere... Like, up until about mid-2020, I kind of just didn't have straight, narrow morals. I had some aspects that, yes, sure, I had built morals on, but did I have full-fledged morals, knowing exactly what I wanted to do, exactly who I needed to be to get exactly to this point in time? No, not quite yet. I was building them up, but I didn't know directly. There are some individuals who have stuck with me along the way. Through hell and high water. Family members. Quite frankly, Aaron and Danny have both been there throughout all that as well. And once Amber came into the picture, she was as well. She was going through her own hardships as well at the same time, and I didn't like interfering with that too much, but when she was, when she could be there, she was. And now 
it's basically a daily thing, which is something I'm grateful for because, yeah, I'm not going to lie, I kind of do need that kind of response at times. But I digress. My morals... The kind of choices I've made recently, like removing certain series off of my channel because they didn't quite match to how I am now, they don't even really match my personality anymore, which is kind of weird because that's not something you hear from a lot of people. You would look at that me and you'd be like, this is not even the same person. This, this channel has been hocked. Well, no. I know that's not me anymore, and I don't want people getting the wrong idea about me. In fact, there were so many things that were said on this channel that were just wrong that I was like, not keeping that. And if I'm removing that video, I have to remove the entire series because it's kind of a pet peeve of mine. You have like episodes one, two, three, five. Wait, where's episode four? That kind of thing. For a series like this, the discussion and rant series, or about me, this one about me, th this would be the about me series, it's not so much the case. The humor changes, yes. But once I find a concrete point, I have to keep it. And at this point, when the channel started, I didn't have something concrete, but now I do. And I'm trying to build up on that specific idea. It's going to take a lot of time, yes. And a lot of effort. How long, I don't know. But quite frankly, I think the most outside of, like, family-related which I guess would be the most important, so that pretty much the most important ones who do cause this on me would be the ones I've listed, family, Amber, Aaron, Danny, people like that. Outside of that, let's go second most the important thing, or the most, unincluding all those, the most, the, the ones who had the most impact on me. I feel like outside of those individuals who definitely do just because they're part of my personal life, outside of doing this, are you guys. All six, all 500 plus people who have supported this channel in one way or the other. have pushed me to realize that I need to set certain standards for myself. The ones who pushed me the most are definitely those I've already listed multiple times, just because, you know, again, their personal life. But outside of that, my responses have varied based. Like, I can respond a specific way, personal life, and then change on here if I really needed to, but I'd rather not Because like me, all 500 plus people who watch, who are sub to this, they are people. I'm sure everyone has standards to their own specific degree. I want to make others comfortable to watch this. I still want to make others laugh. But I also want to make others comfortable to watch the content that I create. And at times, when it comes down to it, relatable. That's why having these standards that I built up over time, creating a specific style of humor, a specific style of video type, a specific style of moral, I just feel like it's more necessary to me now, and it will be even more in the future, but right now, as of where my life has led so far, it's more necessary now than it has ever been before. That's something I'm more grateful for than people might think. Granted, even though Thanksgiving is pretty much bypassed a couple days ago, actually. Actually, it was a few days ago. Anyway, there's one thing I'll always be grateful for. It's the amount of support that so many people give to me. 
sometimes even unexpectedly. And every time I see that, I push myself to create the best me I can be. Especially when it starts to impact my real life as well. And this channel, sooner or later, will. That's something I can't just turn down. My morals make my life. And my morals have led me to the people I care about the most. With the humor I have. With the channel I run. And with the people I love. My morals, my current morals, morals led me to all that. And it's something I'm grateful for. Even if it took... 27 years to build them up. Better late than never, huh? But one way or the other, I'm gonna leave this video here. I know it was very lengthy, it was a very lengthy video, and these don't happen often. But I guess... What was going through my head about these, the my morals is... Well more important, and... It wasn't planned to go this way, but it's something that I think... I, I felt like I should probably have talked about it regardless. Either way, thanks for tuning in for this video, everyone. For all of you who stuck around for all 31, almost 32 minutes, by the time this video over, it'll be over that, but thank you guys so much. Thank you to Amber, my parents, my family, D9, Aaron, um, all those who have pushed this channel to get to where it is now, and pushed me IRL, uh, thank you to all those who support this channel. I can't list every single one of them, in fact most of them I can't because most aren't publicly subscribed. Most of you are actually privately subscribed, and those I can't see, so I can't shout them out. Um, but for all of those out there who have subbed to this channel to this point, Big thank you and shout out to all of you. Be kind of hard to shout out all 500 plus of you anyway at this point. One way or the other, thank you guys so much. I'm going to head off. Check the link on this side of my head if you want to learn anything about me. Or my past, or hear stories about my past. You'll definitely find that on that side. Along with videos like this every now and then. Where I kind of talk about myself in a very lengthy way. Click the link on the other side if that's not quite what you're looking for, though. If for some reason you made it to the end of this video, and it's not quite what you're searching for, maybe YouTube will help you out and they'll be able to show you something you like on that, on the opposing side. Still not thinking that's for you? Check out the channel itself if you have not yet. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope to see all of you in another. Bye for now.